welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will simulate a monostable multi vibrator circuit using the LT spice tool so before going into this tutorial I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below so let us start the circuit design and the circuit simulation using LT spice click on component symbol and click on opam now we have to select LM741 op-amp. Click OK and place this particular LM74 op-amp on the schematic window. In order to rotate this particular symbol, we can use Ctrl R. And in order to mirror, in order to mirror the circuit, use Ctrl E. Place this particular op-amp on the schematic. Next, click on diode and place this diode on the schematic window now right click on the diode and select the appropriate diode model so we will select 1N914 diode for this particular simulation now click on resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window so so we have to place three resistor for this particular design as shown in this tutorial next click on capacitor and place the capacitor c1 on the circuit in order to rotate use control plus r so we have to place capacitor C1 and C2 in this particular tutorial. Now click escape. Next click on component symbol and we have to place the voltage source for this particular circuit. So click on voltage and place the voltage source. place three different voltage source in this particular design so this particular voltage source will be used as an input as well as the power source for LM741 op-amp next click on ground and place the ground connection for voltage source V1, V2 and V3 next click on wire and extend the wire across the voltage source v1 again similarly extend the wire across the voltage source v2 and extend the wire across the voltage source v3 click on wire and extend across the positive and the negative end of lm741 Now click on label net and we have to place the label net VCC and VEE across the voltage source V1 and across the positive terminal of the op-amp 741 and place the VEE label net across the voltage source V2 and across the negative terminal of LM741. Now click on ground and place the ground on the schematic window click escape now click on wire and extend the wire across the resistor R1 and next click on label net and place the label net VCC across the extended wire of resistor R1 now click on the voltage source and change the voltage source to VCC and VEE now change the voltage source third voltage source to VIN now right click on the voltage source and define the DC value as 12 volt and define the DC value as minus 12 volt next click on wire 
and connect the resistor R1 to R2 and R2 to the ground and connect the positive terminal of LM741 to resistor R1 and R2 connect the capacitor C1 to resistor R3 and from resistor R3 to diode D1 and to the ground now connect the diode D1 to the negative terminal of LM741 and connect the diode to the ground connect the diode D1 to resistor R3 now extend the output of LM741 and click on wire connect the capacitor C2 to the positive terminal of LM741 and to the output of LM741 again click on wire and connect the capacitor C1 and place a V in label net across the capacitor C1 and click escape now right click on resistor R1 and define the resistance value as 22 220 kilo ohm and right click on resistor R2 define the resistance value as 10k right click on R3 define the resistance value as 120 kilo ohm and right click on capacitor C1 define the capacitance as 91 picofarad and right click on capacitor C2 define the resistance value as 0.027 microfarad now right click on V in and click on advanced we have to define the pulse voltage value so define V initial as 0 V on as 0 T delay as 0 T rise as 1 nano T fall as 1 nano T on as 0 0.5 micro T period as 1 milli T on as 0 0.5 milli and click OK now click on edit click on spice analysis we have to define the stop time as 4 milliseconds and click OK next click on label net and we have to define the label net that is V out and V in so place the V in across the extended wire of the supply voltage now click on run and place the probe on the input and place the probe on the output you can see the mono stable multi vibrator circuits output now let us run this particular simulation again and place the probe on V in now click on add plot plane and we will place this particular probe across the capacitor D1 and the diode so place this particular probe you can see the output across the capacitor C1 now place this probe across the resistor R1 and again add plot plane and place this particular probe across the output of this particular circuit thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below